All right, guys, well, the NHL season has come to an end, but you know what? It's never too early to look ahead to 2016, and we got Dave Dolikoff here, our NHL Henny Happer, to help us do just that. And Dave, first off, we're taking a look at some futures for next season's Stanley Cup. Obviously, no real big surprise. We got the Chicago Blackhawks at the prohibitive favorites at 7 to 1. This list also includes four conference final teams the Rangers, the Ducks, and the Lightning. Uh, you know, what do you make from all this stuff, Dave? Well, we take a look at the favorites right now. I mean, these are the teams that were there at the end for the most part, other than St. Louis. These are all the teams that were there at the end. And they're going to be favorites the next season. I don't think it's too surprising. Um, you know, we see this happen in sports all the time. The teams that go the furthest, you know, whoever plays in the Super Bowl, whoever wins the Super Bowl, they're usually the favorites going into the next season. So I think that's all that we're seeing here in the NHL. All right, and uh, how did the Blues make their way onto this list? Well, the Blues have been consistently good in the regular the seasons among you know 100 plus points president's trophy in the running that type but uh they've run into some so some some playoff problems and uh, uh you know i've been guilty of picking the blues to win the stanley cup before i think that their team is definitely built for it but they just don't execute well in the playoffs so um if something changes maybe maybe they you know they figure it all out it could happen but that's why the blues are there they have the talent to do it all right, and then taking a look at these top five teams, if you had to make a pick on one of them today, what would your pick be? Oh, man, oh, those top five teams, I really don't like. I, I don't think there's any value with any of them, but, jeez, uh, I don't want to bet Chicago because Chicago just won. It's so hard to go back-to-back. -back. Tampa Bay, not sure. Um, I, I don't know, maybe I'd go with Tampa Bay. I don't like the Rangers. Uh, I don't like uh, the Ducks. I, I don't know. We're really splitting hairs. I don't think there's value with any of these teams. Uh, I think right now the prices, um, I don't think the prices will change that much for these teams as we get closer to the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs and stuff next season. So I don't recommend anything, but if I had to pick one, maybe Tampa Bay. All right, so it sounds like your value is coming out of the top tier here. Yeah, well, I think there's better value value outside of the top tier. If you're looking at teams that are not in sort of the top five, I, I, I'm looking at Boston. Uh, I'm looking at the Kings. Two teams that have done it before. Uh, Bruins coming off a bad year. Kings coming off a bad year. But before that, heading into the last season, those guys were Stanley Cup favorites. Um, still, the cores are intact on both teams. Coaching intact on both teams. I think the Kings are probably my, my best value player of the bunch. Uh, both teams with a bit of salary cap issues, but I think the cores there you know, with the Kings, it's just a matter of playing with a little bit more pa more passion, a little bit more fire, and we've seen them do it. So I, I think Los Angeles is a good value play. And value is what we are all about here at SportsbookAgree.com. Thanks, Dave. And guys, remember, just some food for thought in the offseason here. We'll be continuing our coverage of the NHL all summer long, so be sure to keep tuning in right here at SBR.com. Yeah.